Good evening, beautiful people. Evening. All right. So when I say forward together, so forward together. Forward together. Forward together. All right. So, as many of you know, we spent the day attending a historical conference on the intersection of race and labor. How many of you were there? It was the first annual conference of its kind, and we are looking forward to it, to another one next year. We ended the conference on the tension and power of coalition as well we should. The truism that everything is and everyone is interconnected and oppression works more effectively when we are divided when we fail to remember that systems of oppression feeds on our division and that it finds its strength in that division. And that was really the dictum of the day. An inclusive coalition, we felt, was the antidote. So, needless to say, it is with utmost pleasure that I introduce Bishop Reverend William Barber, Joseph Barber the second, to this campus, to tonight's event. Uh, because in many ways, Reverend Barber is the very embodiment of that message. Reverend Barber is someone who makes the connection whose vision and mission is to build, expand, and strengthen coalitions, who leads a movement whose goal is to connect us, all of us. Someone who has spent his life and used his talent to bring people together. So I want to warn you that nothing I will say in describing Reverend Dr. Barber will fully capture who he is and what he has done. Dr. Barber is the president and senior lecturer of Repairer of the Breach, co-chair of the Poor People's Campaign, a national call for moral revival, bishop with the Fellowship of Affirming Ministries, executive board member of the Christian Church Disciple of Christ, professor in the practice of public theology and public policy, and founding director of the Center for Public Theology and Public Policy at Yale Divinity School. He has published four books. We are called to be a movement. Revive us again, vision and action in moral organizing. The Third Reconstruction, Moral Mondays, Fusion Politics, and the Rise of a New Justice Movement, and Forward Together, a Moral Message for the Nation. He has been busy. Reverend Barber served as past senior pastor of the Greenleaf Christian Church, Church Disciple of Christ for 30 years. He was the president of the North Carolina NAACP from 2006 to 2017. And he also served on the National NAACP Board of Directors from 2008 to 2020. He is the architect of the Forward Together Moral Movement that we all saw on TV, right, that gained national acclaim in 2013 with his moral Monday protest at the North Carolina General Assembly. That's, that's where I first saw him on TV. In 2015, Reverend Dr. Barber established Repairers of the Breach to train communities in moral movement building to the Moral pol Political Organizing Leadership Institute and Summit Training. 
In 2018, he co-authored the relaunch of the Poor People's Campaign, a national call for moral revival, and in so doing, reviving the 1968 Poor People's Campaign organized by SCLC under the leadership of Dr. King that brought workers, rights movement, women's rights movement, religious leaders, and peoples of all races to fight poverty in the US, a true coalition indeed. A highly sought after speaker, a highly, a highly sought after human being, motivator, inspirer, Dr. Barber has given keynote addresses at hundreds of national and state conferences, including the 2016 Democratic National Convention, the homily at the 59th inaugural prayer service for President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris, the Vatican at Pope Francis encyclical Laudato Si on care for our common home, and the Pontifical Academy of Social Sciences. In, 2000, in June 2018, he addressed the fifth Uni Global Union World Congress to more than 25 countries. He has been busy. Dr. Barber is regularly featured in media outlets such as MSNBC, CNN, The New York Times, Washington Post, and The Nation's Magazine. He was named one of the 2020's BET 100 Entertainers and Innovators and one of the 2019 recipients of the North Carolina Award, the state's highest civilian honor. He is a 2018 MacArthur Foundation Genius Award recipient and a 2015 recipient of the Franklin D. Roosevelt Four Freedom Awards and the Puffin Award. Dr. Barber has had 12 honorary degrees conferred on him. He earned a bachelor's degree from North Carolina Central University, a Master of Divinity from Duke University, and a doctorate from Drew University with a concentration in public policy and pastoral care. So needless to say, I could go on and on, but we are honored and elated that Reverend Barber agreed to be with us tonight. And so please help me welcome him. A round of applause. A sustained round of applause, please. <laughs> and, <laughs> so, so thank you very much. But he has been busy serving. Uh -huh. He has been busy serving. So Dr. Barber will join us to the podium shortly. But when we begin, um, I begin by pointing on the importance of Reverend Barber's places on inclusive intersectional struggle centered on moral vision. And to give you an understanding of the work that he has been doing and the way in which he brings peoples together. And he creates movement, an intersectional movement. We have set a video that we will um, ask you to please watch. And when he does come to the podium, to please welcome him the Corsair's way and the New Bedford and community in Southeastern way. 